Well, we're just hours left until the race that stops the nation. No one knows better what it takes to win than Lee Friedman. What a legend. He's triumphed in not one, not two, but five Melbourne Cup carnivals. <laughs> and the champion racehorse trainer joins us now with his race day insights. Lee, good morning to you. And friend, who is that there with you, my friend? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Wayne. Wayne, Wayne. Wayne. he's a really nice dog. Wayne, how Australian <laughs> is that? Dog. Yeah. They were a dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my no, friend. It's a good night. Yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, thousands of spectators hitting up Flemington today. It's a really important day, isn't it, um, for Melbourne? I know you're on the Goldie, but it's an important day for, for Melbourne and Victoria, isn't it? Well, it is. Uh, it, it's, a, it's an iconic race, obviously, and it's the only race I know of anywhere in the world that, you know, virtually the whole country is uh, is uh, involved uh, or invested in it in some small or large way. So it's 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 quite an iconic day. It's right up there, I guess, with with all the major days in Australia. And uh, uh, it's a shame not to be there this year, but hopefully we'll be there next year. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think next year is going to be the year when it properly goes off. But 10,000 yeah. in the crowd this year, it, it's going to be a different atmosphere. But it just, it just sort of feels like this is Melbourne reawakening, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, the, Melbourne's had it pretty hard. My, my yeah. daughter, one of my daughters, still lives down there, and I get constant reports about how bad it's been. And fortunately, fortunately, I've managed to avoid most of that. If they haven't, and uh, I think you know. Um, It'll be a great celebration day uh, for the whole city, I think. Definitely. Hey, um, your brother um, Anthony and nephew Sam are looking to give the family another win uh, with Delphi. I think it just got cleared this morning, which is good. Uh, Damien Oliver uh, on board. Uh, how are they looking before we get to the other tips? Uh, well, uh, he's a very talented horse. Uh, hasn't been without his issues, but uh, he'll, he'll want to settle a bit better than he did in the Caulfield Cup. He has a tendency to get up on the bit. And uh, you can't really do that much in the Melbourne Cup and win it. So I think if he settles from that from a good barrier, he's he's going to run a, a very good race. There's talk about incentivise, obviously. I mean, not getting the distance, but I reckon incentivise ran 4200 at the Caulfield Cup at six wide the whole way and did it in a canter. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, look, he's got no convictions of the trip because he's never run over it, and. I think you'd be a brave man to say the, one he, the way he won the Caulfield Cup that he couldn't couldn't do the same in the Melbourne Cup. I think we may be we may just be seeing something a bit uh, a bit special in this horse because we've never seen the like of it before. That going for ten straight into the Cup and uh, uh, as 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 far back as only April he, he was beaten out of sight at Toowoomba. So this is a this is a great uh, great story. Mm. Oh, well, look, you know, I think a lot of people are hoping that Incentivise will get up this afternoon. But who else do you like the look of, Lee? Uh, look, I'd be, I'm, I'm more uh, focused on stables that are, that are very good and successful in staying races. So I'd be, I'd be looking at Lloyd Williams' horses as, as an each-way chance, Pondus. And I'd also be looking at Kieran Maher's horses, particularly Floating Artist, who was a bit unlucky in the Mooney Valley Cup. Yeah, right. Those horses will run the trip right out. And they're, they're from stables that... Uh, that have proven themselves at the top level. Has Lloyd just got the one in? Because Lloyd Williams, he is like a, a just a smoking genius. Well, he's got Twilight Payment, sorry, as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. which one last year? Twilight I mean, payment. why can't it win again this year? Too much weight? Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. It's a, it's a very consistent horse and it's it's proven in the race that they don't win it back to back very often. I think mm. only two horses or three horses have done it. So, uh, But this is an overly strong year and... He's a very good stayer with a good draw and he'll be up out of trouble most of the way. He would, he would certainly be a good each way uh, bet for the once a year putters for sure. Oh, don't put Wayne oh, down. Wayne. We were just, Poor we were just, Wayne. We were just loving falling in love if with him. If you just him. smelt what Wayne did, you wouldn't want him around. <laughs> <laughs> Always blame the dog. That's all right, Lee. <laughs> Looked like he was up to mischief. 100%. 100%. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. I think, you know, with Melbourne Cup, we love, we love a fairy tale. Well, and we so love... don't never work with kids or animals. No. <laughs> Bloody Wayne, eh? You do both. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but we, Sorry. No, no, we love, we love a fairy tale and we love a story. And we had that a few years back with Michelle Payne. You've now got British jockey uh, Rachel King. Do you think she could be the, the second female yep. jockey to win the Cup? Not sure what she's riding. Tell me what she's riding. 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know those details, mate. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> it's, uh... Gee, she research is going beautifully. Yeah, there. no, it is. It's Pondus. <laughs> she's going to ride Pondus. Well, there you go. She's on Lloyd Williams. Well, there you go. Uh, there yeah, you go. So, she's not on yeah, Lloyd I think, Williams. Uh, <laughs> I think, uh, I th yeah. <laughs> well, uh, oh, wow. like so, he's got Pondus and Twilight Payment in the cup. I think yeah, the, the, they'll both run good races because they know how to get them ready. Well, uh, my friend, thank you. We'll let you go um, and, and be with Wayne and uh, be reunited with the smelly dog. We appreciate your time today. It's always great to catch up with you um, and, and have a great cup Good day. On, mate. Good on you, mate. Thank see, you. See you on the Goldie for a beer, eh? Oh, mate, I'll be there as soon as I can on the 17th. <laughs> December 17th. 50,000 other people driving through. Um, thank you, mate. Good to see you. He's a lovely fella, isn't he? Isn't he good fun? What about Wayne, the Pomeranian? <laughs> Just looks smelly, Wayne. that dog.